Good morning, everybody, and this is a Christian Prince with you again. I'm not sure how many of you miss me, but I think I am missed by some. Few, maybe. Now, today, uh, I decide to talk about this topic uh, because, you know, uh, due to what I do, always I receive uh, in the search engine, uh, you know, like things which have to do with what I do, which is about Islam. So, uh, you know, I saw this. Uh, uh, why I converted to Islam. It's kind of interesting. And you will see always the media which owned by the liberals, uh, like Yahoo, they have why I converted to Islam, and they put it in their lifestyle. But I never saw Yahoo posting an article about why I left Islam. Hmm. Uh, I did not see that in the CNN or hmm. so today I decided to share with you uh, uh, a person who decided to convert it to Islam and let us see what he will say uh, I hope Muslims will not be disappointed let us see what happened I will put the video for you in a second. Just give me a minute. All right. <clears throat> Hand this to me and let me get you now. Hi, everyone. My name is Thomas Samuel. And uh, I came from uh, the Prophet house. My really grand grand grandfather is the cousin of uh, the Prophet Muhammad. His name is Akil ibn Abi Talib. And uh, I came from a Salafi group. I used to be an Imam. I used to lead the prayer since I was nine years old. I used to teach since I was 13 and I grew up with that. And on the age of 16, I felt so much fed up with what is happening in the world. I decided to help our brothers in Iraq to stand against the Americans. But suddenly it failed. And I started to feel depression towards God and what is happening here, I'm not chosen. But I met a man who said, you need to evangelize people. You need to make a prayer, uh, a call of Islam to call everyone to become a Salafi. I did that, but I was not satisfied until I said, I want to get in touch with Christians. And then when I did that, I started to feel like, what is really Christianity is? I want to know it. And I found that what they taught us about Christianity in Islam is not really what Islam is teaching. And accordingly, I started to, to search for a source. I didn't find until one day a pop-up window came on my computer that says, do you love Allah? I thought it's a Muslim website. I clicked it and it was a Christian website. It was a fascinating Christian website. It was very simple talking about how things are so much connected. It answered the question that even Muslim Imams used to have, how things are so much chronicle, how things are so much canon, how it's reliable, how eyewitnesses were there. And here I was shocked, like, maybe these all are wrong? I cried so hard searching for God to give me an answer until one day I cried so hard and he visited me in a dream saying, it's your time to follow me. I didn't believe him the first time, I didn't believe him the second time, but the third time he said, didn't I tell you it's your time to follow me? He moved the bandage of my, of my, on my eyes and I started to read between Islam and Christianity. I found that there is more far away between what canon in Christianity can be and what we have in Islam. To be a Christian is to follow the evidence, is to follow the truth and to follow the true God that makes sense and make you in sequence with what you feel and what you think. Jesus is the way, if you want to know who is the way. I mean to that. So as you see, this guy, as he said, I don't know him, I never met him. He is from the family of Muhammad. 
and he was an Imam in the mosque he was a Muslim who tried to bring Christians to Islam and then he found that Islam is nothing but a scam and he just said it clearly that what they said to us about Christianity it was absolutely not true now he left Islam I decide to join Islam and I was thinking about reasons what will make me join Islam what will make me join Islam mm hmm I mean to be honest with you hmm. Allah he have a lot of women there I mean women a lot of them and then I thought about it 72 women Allah did not say if we will have 72 mother-in-law or not and that is really scary I mean 72 women and 72 mother-in-law hmm what if they are there I guess they are there so imagine every morning you have 72 mother-in-law they are visiting you in your house mm hmm and you know uh, there's one more th scary thing for me like when Allah he promised us that we will have endless penis I mean come on if we have a tail we can drag it behind us but in this penis in the front how we can carry it mm hmm and then there is more issues which is like in the heaven there is a market of images of men and women and you choose the image and you jump inside it what if somebody he saw my image mm hmm and he is a man <laughs> oh no and then the issue is that in the heaven of Allah you get whatever you wish what if somebody wished to have sex with you mm hmm what somebody if somebody wished to have something not right with you uh-huh I mean this heaven of Islam is kind of a fantasy filled with stupidity it's not convincing but still I'm trying to convert to Islam and then I decide to search for uh, what the Muslims they call uh, scientific miracles in the Quran mm -hmm. and I found a lot of science in the Quran I mean the only God who knows how the baby is created is Allah especially he imagined that we are first bones and then we are closed with the flesh totally bones there's nothing else especially when he imagined that the sperm became a congealed blood especially when he say as an example in chapter 86 that the women have a <clears throat> breast testicles and their sperm is coming from their upper side of their chest i mean i am really thinking to convert to islam you see when you see those videos which muslims they promote they say to you that somebody converted to islam because islam is a way of life and i came from the middle east and I say that it's the most corrupt nations ever is my countries where everything is corrupt so what way of life of Islam is doing the judge is corrupt the police is corrupt the president is corrupt the Imam is corrupt I mean everything is corrupt even you go to buy tomato uh, let me explain to you how you buy tomato in the Middle East maybe many of you never been there in the Middle East, they put for you like the, the the grocery guy, or let us say, they don't really sell the uh, vegetables in a grocery store. It's like a vegetable store by itself. So they put for you beautiful, nice tomato in the front, and then they 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 they, they like uh, they line them up in the top of each other, like like uh, as if they are like a building, you know, like or, or a hill. In the back, there's all the bad tomatoes. So you cannot pick up your tomato he says to you how much you want you say to him kilograms two kilograms you buy two or three kilograms he put all the ugly disgusting one which is garbage routing ones in the bomb and then when you go home you start taking off the tomato you notice that there's only three or four are good to eat and the rest are good to, to, to throw in the street that is the middle east you go to the butcher to buy uh, meat of a cow you find later it's a meat of a cat or a donkey or a horse or even a dead cow which is sick 
and the government they throw it in the garbage because it's not healthy for human use that is the Middle East my friend in the Middle East Islam is making the way of life to the point we cannot have electricity and we have a Christmas every day you celebrate Christmas you buy a tree for a Christmas you buy those lights uh -huh. we have those lights off and on every day because our countries are corrupt so when Islam is a way of life what kind of life we are talking about a guy he go to the embassy to get a paper they chop him pieces millions of people disappear in the Middle East because they say their opinion either in politics or in religion Islam is the way of life Islam is the way of life and the way of ethic I made a video if you remember it's called uh, Islam and ethic I don't know how many of you watch it if you did not uh, you can just download it from YouTube you can search for it and you can find it Islam and ethic show you a lot of the ethic of Islam which people don't want to speak about or let us say people don't want to even mention It is ugly, disgusting, corrupt, ethic. Imagine we have a prophet who says, if you see a Christian or a Jew in the street, force him to walk in the most narrow alley. If you search for those videos, by the way, many of you say your video disappear fast. I said, you can always search for the same title and you can find my videos in other accounts. And here there's some examples of those accounts who post my videos right away so always you can download them and you can see what we are talking about always Muslims they try to present to us something is not exist in their cult as an example when a Muslim he says Islam is a way of life and Islam is a religion of peace. And then we find the Quran saying, I'm not going to mention the verses of killing yet. <clears throat> I'm going to mention the ethic of Allah. You see, Allah is God of ethic to the point he have a target in life. To accomplish he want to spread peace and love yeah as you see Allah he said those who call themselves a Christians I am going to spread hatred between them until the judgment day and for sure that is a very good reason to believe that Allah is a true God not the Satan I mean if Allah is not God why he will love to spread hatred specifically between the Christians until judgment day you know maybe Allah is trying to fix a problem by hatred hmm yeah you can fix problems always by hatred you know those Christians are kuffar so how we can fix them we spread hatred hmm I mean if we make the Christians hate each other what Allah will accomplish with this number one they will kill each other uh-huh that's wonderful bloodshed Allah he love bloodshed that's wonderful what else oh uh, they will uh, hate everybody too hate is good in Islam as you see Allah was Allah, Allah is the hate vendor if we ask the Muslims what Allah is trying to accomplish by spreading hate between the Christian let us say they are they are lost let us say they don't have the good faith what kind of God the Muslim they say to us may Allah guide you I mean I hear that always from Muslims may Allah guide you <laughs> but the Quran says that Allah is the one who must guide people so how you say to me may Allah guide you are you lying to me lying to yourself how Allah is going to guide me by spreading hatred in my heart and I will show you something extra funny about the God of Islam.
Please invite your friends. So they can see the amazing way of life. Why we are not believing in Allah? Because Allah, He sealed our hearing, our heart, and our eyes. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. So Allah will punish me for He sealed my hearing and my eyes hello so he sealed my hearing he sealed my eyes he sealed my heart and yet he is going to punish me for he sealed my heart hello hello it's me you're looking for Allah is crazy as never before. He is really so not. Hello. I mean, this is wisdom. This is wisdom. Look, look, look. The verse before it. Uh, hold on, hold on. The Muslim, they say to you, Hello, you are misquoting. Read the verse before it. The verse before it is even funnier. As for the disbelievers. As for the disbelievers, whether though warn them or though warn them not, it's all one for them. They believe not. Allah has sealed their hearing and their heart on their eyes. They are covering. Okay, okay, okay. So Allah is saying to Muhammad, you warn them, you don't warn them, they will not believe because Allah has sealed their heart. Now who is the bad here? Who is the bad and who is the stupid in this story? Are we listening? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why you did not read the verse before that verse? Before the verse, before the verse. Okay, let us go back to the verse before this verse, which is this. Oh boy, look at this. Things is getting more uh, <laughs> smell like poo, poo These depend on guidance from their Lord. These are successful. Like, hold on, man, you drive me crazy. So, guidance is from the Lord, and misguiding is from the Lord. And Allah is the one who sealed our heart and our eyes. And, uh, you know, I mean, okay, so what we will do now? So if you are guided, you are not because you are good. No, because the Lord, he guided you. If you are misguided, not because you are bad. No, because Allah misguided you. And if you are not listening, not because you are deaf or blind. No, but because Allah, he sealed your eyes. <laughs> this is what I call Confucius wisdom. Now I understand why Buddha, he have a big belly. I think he was reading Quran. Buddha, why your belly was so big? If we ask Zakir Naik, why Buddha he have a big belly? He will say to us, Brother Tata, obviously, Buddha himself he used the Quran. If you go to chapter 2, verse number 6 and 5 and 7, you will find all the secrets there. And obviously, that Buddha he was a Muslim. And he got fat because of the wisdom of Allah. Buddha, you are getting so fat because of the wisdom of Allah. I mean, this is really, really stressful wisdom. He is the one who misguide us. He is the one who guide us. And he is the one who see our heart, our eyes. And then he will punish us for not believing him because he misguide us. <coughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Shall I read more verses? <laughs> oh boy <coughs> if you go to different verses in the Quran hey, by the way I cannot read the keyboard let me turn the light on here you guys are lucky it's daytime for you 
hold on oh I forgot I have an x-ray eyes uh, all right now this is better look at this now the Muslims in their translation uh, they try always to give us their own you know funny English translation for the Quran but it doesn't really work if you read in the Quran as an example chapter 4 verse number 88 look how the Muslims they translate the word deceive they say let me change the translation I, I, I don't really this translation is very funny kind of funny uh, this is big tell let us search for different donkey uh, Yusuf Ali yeah, this guy his English is easier than the other donkey uh, by the way all the translation is false but we will let it go he, here you will see Allah supposed to speak him and speaking to Muhammad saying to him and I want you to read carefully with me so you can see why Islam is the most stupid cult ever you can imagine Allah saying to Muhammad would you guide those whom Allah has thrown out of the way Allah's thrown out of the way where it says that in Arabic in Arabic it says Woman, you'd lead Allah. Atuhdi man Allah. Are you going to guide the one who Allah deceived? And look how they change the translation from deceive to Allah thrown out of the way. Is that a highway or something? What do you mean he threw out of the way? But we will go with the Muslims' translation, which is a stupid and lies. But even there, we can get them busted. So let us say the truth is a highway. Hold on, hold on. I like to use my uh, <clears throat> skills in art. You know me. I like. I am very good in art. You know that, right? I mean, I'm sure by time by now, all of you, you know that. So let us say that uh, this is the highway of Allah. This is the highway of Allah. And this highway will take you to heaven. I'm just using the translation of the Muslims, by the way, to expose them and get them busted. And you are here. And then Allah, he take you and he throw you out of the highway. You are here now. Do you understand what the Quran is saying? Allah is your deceiver even by using their lie translation they get themselves busted it is Allah he throw you out of the way it's not you who throw yourself read carefully with me the Muslim translation not my translation for sure you know I'm, I'm working now in the Quran translation but if the Muslims, if the Muslim reading Christian Prince translation, they will say a Christian Prince is lying to you. Uh, he's lying, brother. <laughs> he's lying. <laughs> would you guide those whom Allah has thrown out of the way? Who is the one who throw them out of the truth? Allah. Who is the one who misguide them? Allah. Because if you throw me out of the way, what does that mean? It's mean you misguide me. Now, if we change the translator. What a change will happen? This is Yusuf Ali. Let us use another donkey. Yusuf Ali. We go to Shakir. Let us see how Shakir will solve the problem. Do you wish to guide whom? Allah has caused, caused to err. Err. May Allah err. Err er you. <laughs> er. <laughs> Guys, look, look, look. Do you wish to guide whom? 
Allah has caused to err. Who is the one who caused to err? Allah. Err. 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 You know, the shepherd in the Middle East, they say that to their sheep and their donkeys. Err. You know. So it is Allah who caused you to err. So who is the devil? Who is the devil? It's not shaitan who caused you to err. It is Allah who caused you to err. So let us say that we should open a website. It's called what we will call it. I got a name. Hold on. Uh, instead of uh, www, which is haram, we say Abdul. But but Allah so it is Allah who caused you to err well nice to meet you mr. R I think you are doing a lot of erring these days hey by the way Allah can you give us a report of how many people you caused them to err today or every hour Look like you are a very hard working God who caused people to err. <laughs> and not only that, not only Allah saying, Are you going to guide those who Allah caused to err? Hold on, look what it says after that. And whomsoever Allah caused to err, you shall be shall by no means find a way for him <laughs> Allah er is no no solution for it that's it it's a glue crazy glue Allah look like the devil is a lot nicer even in their filthy cult translation which means trying to fool you and avoiding the word deception. The word in Arabic is deception. There's no err. What err? Here we go. To hudu man adallallah, wa man yudlilallah, falan tajdalahu sabila. This is the word in Arabic, and everybody knows that adal, it's mean he deceive you, he fool you. He scam you and confirming that the one who is deceived by Allah there is no way for him to find the truth even in their funny false translation they expose to us the nature of this God So look like if we convert to Allah, we convert into the one, the God of Err. Hold on, I think my English is getting better these days. Let me try try to tie brother this sentence without making a grammar grammar mistakes. And the Muslim they will make fun of Christian Prince English, by the way. They will not make fun of their stupid God. The only problem with Christian Prince, look at brother, look at brother <laughs> English, <laughs> a brother. So. Let us make it simple here. Allah is the God of Err. Hello, it's me who provide Err for you. I am the one who caused you to Err. You better worship me. I am the God. Err. Hello. Hello. So Allah, he caused me to err, and then he will punish me because I did err. I mean, that's really wise. Not only it is wise, it is justice. Every brother and sister in Islam. I am Allah, worship me, otherwise I will err you. I am moody, 
and I can change my mind and err you anytime. And be careful, if I err you, nobody can fix you. This is what the verse is saying to us. Erro mirro, erro mirro, how you do? Allah is waiting for you. Erro, 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 Allah is the God of erro. Every citizen have the right to be erred by Allah. Allah is the almighty err. He err a lot. Actually, Allah, he do nothing during daytime except erring people. In the other day, I want to wanted to buy uh, some concrete, and Allah He err me, and I took a wrong exit, and I found myself in instead of being in the front of Home Depot, I found myself in the front of Pets Depot. Instead of getting concrete, I get a cat. Allah He err me. Hmm. Hello. I mean, this is God. Hold on, hold on. Somebody's saying to me, you are using the wrong translation. <laughs> okay. What what the translation you wish? Huh? Michael Jackson translation? Which one? Hey, hold on. Ahmad Ali. Let us see Ahmad Ali. Maybe Ahmad Ali is better. I mean, come on. Give Ahmad Ali an opportunity. Do you wish to guide him to path to the path whom Allah, like this guy, he took the word Allah off, he put the word God, which is false, has allowed to go astray. Allowed. So he allowed. <laughs> <laughs> You see, you have to go, you have to ask Allah, Allah, can I go astray? And then as Allah, he says, okay, you can go astray. <laughs> I mean, this is a hilarious translation. Let us see another another donkey. I mean, they tried to cover the poopoo of Muhammad left and right, but it's not working. Let us see a different one. Okay, this is... Uh... Dari Abadi. I mean, this is his name. This is name like Zakir Naik. Look like he's from Pakistan. Hold on. Let us see Dari Abadi. All right. <clears throat> Would you lead aright those whom Allah has sent astray? What What is the word allowed is gone? I mean, here there's no allowed. I miss it. And whom's ever Allah sends astray. For him, though shall not find a way. Oof, 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 oof. That's deep. I have to admit that this is very deep. You know, first time I come to America, first time ever I'm driving in the highway. I found that I'm very famous. I'm just being honest with you. I'm driving in the highway and everybody is putting his hand out of the window. In the beginning, I thought they are saying to me hi. And later, I found out they are not. I was driving so slow in the highway. Because I have an old car. And I'm afraid it's going to break on me in the highway. <laughs> it was not hello. It was something really, something else. I cannot say to you. I'm shy to say it to you. And I was saying to myself, Man, how nice the American. They are saying hello to me. And I was saying hello. I said hello to everybody. Hello. Yes, hello. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> I think Allah, if you drive in the highway, he will suffer from the same problem. So Allah is the one who lead you astray. And then Allah will punish you because he did lead you astray. I mean, how wonderful this story is. Can't you tell that this is the God of the wisdom? I mean, who can be this wisdom? 
And then, by the way, if Allah is the one who lead us astray and no guidance for those who they are astray, so how the Muslim they say to us, someone who converted to Islam, isn't it him who did lead us astray? <laughs> oh boy. Now, hold on. <clears throat> Shall I open my Skype see if there is any I do want to call us? What do you think guys? Shall we give opportunity in case there is Abdul he like to call? Let me open Skype and see maybe maybe a Muslim he will give us a call and he will lead us astray. Only please if you are a Muslim you can give us a call. If you are not a Muslim you are not really allowed to call me not for now at least uh, if you are a Muslim and you have something to say to me my Skype right now is open please feel free You know, many do not know that the Quran speak that shaitan is just a servant of Allah. Not only that, shaitan, he was a victim of Allah. In many verses in the Quran, as an example, chapter 7, 16, 15, 39, uh, you know, uh, 37, 32, it used the word await. Await simply is a word mean you deceived me or you, let us say, um, you see the Muslims here, they, uh, they translate it as you seduced me. You should use me. You see, this is the Muslim translation, not my translation. Shaitan saying to Allah, because you should use me, and as you see, I'm using the Muslim translation. Don't blame me for it, Muslims. You, know, I know you. I know you. I know you, I know you, I know you. The la, 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 la. Anything I say, you will say is lying. I mean, here we go. I'm just reading your translation, Abdul. Come on, we have to be fair here. Asking Muslims to be fair? You must be kidding me. So, Shaitan saying to Allah, because you seduced me, I will sit in their way and supposedly he will disturb our life shaitan if you compare this verse to the other verse it is allah who misguide and allah the one who he misguide and allah the one who deceive if he deceives someone nobody can guide him you will find here that even shaitan according to islam he himself is a victim of allah you see when the quran is saying and admitting that shaitan was seduced, and again, I'm using the Muslim translation by Allah. Then, who is the devil? Are we following people? Are you following the Quran? Admit that the one, the shaitan. Is a victim of Allah. Allah, the one is talking here. By the way, is Allah. The whole Quran supposedly is word by word Allah speaking. Even though the conversation supposedly carry uh, first person, second person, but supposedly according to Muslims, every single letter here is said by Allah, which is delivered to Jibreel, the pizza guy, and he delivered it to Muhammad.
So Allah is the one who seduced Shaitan. If you don't like this translation, we can change it. I mean, I like changing translation just to make the Muslims happy. Which one you like, Muslims? Who is a Muslim in the text can tell us which translation you like? Which one? Which one? If you are a Muslim, tell me the translation you like and I will choose for you. Anyone? You see, we have list here. Any Abdul? I mean, I know that there's many Abdul in the chat. Say something. No, don't say something. I mean, choose a, a translation. Like a smart Abdul, he sent me a message in Skype saying something. Anyone? What translation you like? Hamidullah. French, this is French. This is German. Uh, Sarwar. This is a name. A guy, his name is Sarwar. Okay. So let us see Sarwar. I mean, I never tried this through Sarwar before. Let us see Sarwar. Oh, 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 oh look at Sarwar, what he did. Oh, boy. Sarwar, he did not like the word seduce me. Sarwar, he used the word you lead me go astray. Oh boy. Allah, he did lead shaitan astray too. Do you see it, Abdul? Abdul, are you there? Allah, he did lead shaitan astray. Even shaitan is a victim of Allah. And we blame shaitan, and the Muslims, they blame shaitan. You know, no man Khan was uh, dating a bunch of Muslim women doing charity. You know, we, we have to increase the number of population. So, you know, we have to sleep with as many as we can, brother. So, and then he said, Allah, sh sorry, shaitan uh, misguided me, shaitan. My friend, is shaitan himself misguided. What are you talking about? The shaitan himself is misguided by Allah. Somebody is asking, what is the real meaning of kafir? Kafir is not an Arabic word. It's an Aramaic word. For something is, you know, like let's say it's covered. Like right now, if you go in the Middle East, you will find many uh, villages. It's called, the, before the name of the village, it says kafir. Like kafir, etc. Then the name. Why it's called kafir? Because it's far away, small, nobody knows about it. So let us say, you can't even notice it or see it. So the word kafir is for the one who hides something. All right? Or he cover up something. Uh, so you are a farmer. You put seeds in the ground. You are doing kafir, you know? But in religious meaning, uh, for the Muslims, it means somebody who cover Allah faith. He don't want to believe in it. But as you see, it is Allah who he deceived even shaitan. He deceived us, he deceived shaitan, he deceived everybody. So if you study Islam carefully, you will see that the problem is not the shaitan, the problem is Allah. According to the Islamic mythology, as we show you in the front of your eyes, and this is the Muslim translation, not my translation, Shaitan himself is a victim of Allah. If you remember, <clears throat> once we have a, a Muslim, he called me here, uh, and he said, let me see if I can find the video. He said, Adam was a victim of Allah. Let us see. Um, actually, I found a video, but they have the whole video, so it's going to be really long to find where, where the video is saying that. Let us see. Uh, 
they were they were smart they did not trust Allah it, the, it was the man who trust him and he wasn't ignorant let us see where he say that hold on I want to see who accepted the trust. I'm looking for the okay so reading from the English to the uh, from the Arabic to the English truly we did offer the trust to the heavens and the earth and the mountains but they declined to bear it and were afraid of it however man bore it verily he was unjust to himself and ignorant now what is your question sir my question if everything living thing is from water Allah is offering the sky and the earth and the mountains a trust and they refuse how they refuse how they, they refuse yeah how, they, how, how, the, how the mountain refuse <clears throat> well, the Lord says it right here. How? The Lord, the mountain, can offered it to them. Yeah, but how you are? Are you talking to who? To the rocks? Well, the Lord is is addressing this the question that you're asking. You know, the Lord is saying we offered the trust mm. to the mountain. So the Lord is indeed talking mm. to the mountains. Okay, and, the, know, and the mountain they talk back. They say no. We don't accept. Well, this is because of the responsibility, as the Lord says in the verse. Yeah, but this so means the, the mountains, they have a brain, and they, they knew what is responsible and what is not, right? Indeed. Okay, do you really believe that the mountains are, are living creatures, and they have a brain? And they yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, really? I believe. I, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, when you look at the, uh, the reality of um, birds and the way that they function and the way that they uh, operate in terms of waking up the rooster crocs how the birds function well the way birds function uh, according to the birds in, in my in my area you know um every morning around five your time they start chirping you see <laughs> by the way this video the picture there is not my I, i'm not the one who put that picture there the one who posed the video again According to the to, according to the birds in my area, <laughs> okay, continue. Around the Friday, uh, around the Friday, they try they start doing what? Around Fajr hour, the Fajr hour oh, okay. time, the Muslims okay. pray, mm -hmm. and and so around this particular time, they always <laughs> chirp, right? Mm -hmm. So we're talking about a design that Allah created mm -hmm. these birds to function on. So when the Lord is saying, I offered the heavens and the earth to take the responsibility of this trust, you know, we realize that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave it these functions to decide. And it reclined or it, it, it uh, declined the offering. You see, um, in, which language, of, in which language Allah, he offered them the offering? In what language? Yeah. Well, according to the Quran, uh, before my calling you, you read it in the Arabic. So. You know, just translating it into the English. So, it so look, so look like those mountains they speak Arabic. The language that Allah was speaking to the mountains. He was speaking when Allah created uh -huh. creation. No, like when he when he offered them those things, he he spoke to them in which language? In which well, language, gotta, in which language well, they respond? Well, you got to <clears> understand, <throat> um, uh, brother, that. This revelation called the Quran was sent down to mm. Muhammad mm. in the Arabic language. So we're understanding a story. Mm. So according to the story that we're getting this revelation, we're getting it in the language that Muhammad spoke. Mm. So you see, in terms of the language that Allah spoke to the yeah. mountains and the heavens and all of these things, mm. according to what we got from this Quran, we just know that Allah is the creator of speech. Allah is the creator of language. Yeah, but how? So, but, but how? How the how the mountain they speak? I mean, you see, the, do the mountain have a tongue? Well, obviously not now at this particular time. So what happened? This, they lo they lost their tongue by time. What happened? Well, <laughs> unbelievable. You know, guys. Sometimes I'm driving my car. I stop at the traffic light and I start laughing. And people around me, they look at this guy. What's wrong with this guy? I just remember moments of people speaking to me in this mad, stupid religion. I mean, if people they know what I'm, I'm like, I'm remembering in my head, they will, they will die laughing with me too. This, like, look what we are talking about, and look what he just said. At this moment, obviously, no. At this moment, mountains don't have a tongue. <laughs> at this moment. <laughs> of course.
according to what we got from this Quran, we just know that Allah is the creator of speech. Allah is the creator of language. Yeah, but how? So, but, but how? How the how the mountain they speak? I mean, you see, the, do the mountain have a tongue? Well, obviously not now at this particular time. So what I mean, happened? They lo they lost their tongue by time. What happened? Well. Just by looking at what they did, they declined the offer. So by declining the offer, the Lord took away some of the things that will be required ah, to take so the So when he created them, they used to have a tongue. And then by time, uh, Allah, he cut their tongue because they declined the offer. So when Allah, he uh, offered them that, what does that mean? He offered them Islam and they refused to accept Islam? Negative. Uh, what Allah offered was the trust. The trust that uh, the whole purpose... Um, Negative. of man on earth is to be a caliph, a ruler, mm. you see, to have dominion over everything in creation. <laughs> so Allah, he offered the mountain to be a dominion, to control his creation. <laughs> I absolutely, absolutely approve drugs from now on. on. I know, now I know why Democrats, they want to promote marijuana. Obviously, everybody's having it already. Hello. So the Lord offered this responsibility, but in knowing the duties of being a ruler, they declined this offer. You see, and this is why the man today, the mountain, he was offered to be a ruler. <laughs> oh boy. I love you, Allah. Allah so beautiful. You are so, so funny, Allah. I like you, Allah. I mean, this is so beautiful. He is at, uh, a folly he's at a you know um uh, uh as the lord says he is unjust to himself because he's forgotten how heavy this duty is you see mm. and so now today uh the man is in a frenzy trying to understand uh, the geopolitics of governing people <laughs> you see mm. so you see the, uh even the angels mm -hmm. when the lord had created creation mm -hmm. uh told the angels i will create a caliph or representative mm -hmm. and the angels had questioned god think about the angels questioning the most high will you create something that will cause corruption the mm -hmm. lord said i know what you know not because the responsibility of being a ruler mm -hmm. is not easy as mm -hmm. you see the man is unjust so when the lord offered that to the heavens mm -hmm. and they they, they uh, declined it was this mm -hmm. knowledge this information about what it means to be a ruler that they were not ready to take I hope okay. that it can answer your question, question, my friend. You just mentioned the story of Adam and the angels. Allah, He said, "I will create a caliph." What caliph mean? Well, caliph, according to my understanding, <coughs> means a representative, a vice general, a successor, or successor uh, of who? There's people living in the earth before. Well, the Lord before the Lord even created Adam, there was a according to the hadith mm. that I that I can remember mm. before the Lord even created Muhammad mm. or the mm -hmm. first man, mm -hmm. life was already in, 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 it was already functioning. It was already life here. All right. So, so in uh, terms of who the ruler was, who was, heavens, who was down on earth? Was a man or was an angel? Well, Allah was the one keeping it, maintaining it, governing it. Okay. Uh, let, 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 let us focus on that story. The angels, they said to Allah that uh, uh, Adam would do mischief, right? Right. Okay. okay. Yes. And uh, Allah, he told them, I know what you know not. Correct? Correct. Okay. Which means he is confirming that they are wrong about right. the claim of Adam. But isn't it Adam who commits sin later and Allah kicked him out anyway and they were right? Well, the, 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 well I'm, in terms of in terms of the storyline, yeah, you're absolutely correct. The storyline is correct. I'm not okay. going to deny that. Okay. So how, how Allah saying to them you are wrong when they are right? Well, in terms of the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, like, so when you're looking at a story mm. and you know the, the beginning, the middle, and the end of a story, mm. but the person who you're telling this, uh, uh, you're, you're, you're a director of a movie and you're telling, uh, 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 someone that you trust, hey, I got this idea about a movie and they, and they're, and they're trying to <coughs> understand the end of the movie, how the movie is going to end, but they're not the director. They're not the actual creators of the movie. Mm. So they're giving me their own opinion about how the movie would turn out but they're not even the one directing it so the angels were trying to think ahead of Allah but Allah knew the end game so you see yes indeed the story started off with Adam sinning mm. however the end game is not what they thought and that's why the Lord knows what they know no, not but Allah, but Allah told them you know not about what about him being a sinner well about about the about the reality where Adam 
the Adam and the children of Adam, the end game. You see, yeah. it's about this but, is a story. But, but uh, Allah said to them, He wanted to prove to them they are wrong, right? About yeah. what the, the angel they will make, make one accusation that this person he would do mischief, and correct? Indeed. Okay. Was the was the angel right? Yes, Allah was wrong. How Allah said oh. to them, I know what you know not, and he would approve to them that they do not know nothing. And then to prove that story, he started teaching Adam all the names. And then he told the angels, well, okay, if you know uh, if you know better than me, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> recite the names of those things I taught to Adam, and he placed the things in the front of Adam, and he told them, okay, tell me the names of those things. They said, Allah, we, we know not what you know, we know only what you told us. So here so Allah, they testified, they testified to exactly what okay, they did know. Okay, but the story right? here is not smart, my friend, because if I, if, let, us, let us say to you, I have a cat, her name, I, I call her Susu. And I say to you, my friend, do you know the name of my cat? You say no. Is that a proof that I am God because I, I don't know the name of my cat? I am the one who gave the name for my cat. Allah, he named the things to Adam. He taught him the names. And then he brought all the things in the front of the angels. And he said to the angels, give me the names of those things. The angels, they said, we give up. We do not know. How Allah he is proving to the angels that he knew what they knew not if he is the one who gave the names I mean, this is the most silly argument ever Imagine well, imagine imagine you call well, you call your son. Uh, let us say Ahmed or Muhammad And I see you in the street. We shake hands. You say do you know my son name? I say no He said okay. I'll prove to you that I'm God. My son name is Ahmed, but you are the one who gave him the name You know what I'm saying well I hear, I hear, I hear what your your point, sir. But um, the reality is, when you're the one, when you're the beholder of information, and you only teach a certain amount of information to a creation, then you know, it's just, it's just for example, teenagers. You know, teenagers they think they know everything. They have this, you know, uh, this 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 obvious arrogance about themselves where they think that they don't have to, you know, listen to the guidance of their elders anymore because of this information that they think they have. And then when something happens to them, then they realize, oh, wow, I actually don't know so much. So the reality is the angels, they, they thought they knew everything because of what I By the way, look how many Muslims we have in the chat, but none of them dare to give us a call. If you are brave enough, give us a call and let us see if you can stand with your questions. As long as you are asking me if Jesus did poo-poo, first I want you to show me the reference of Jesus doing poo-poo. Secondly, I want to show you the reference that your God Allah is a vagina blower Have you ever heard of a God he put his mouth in a vagina? Are you there Abdul? Hello Look now how they will go dead, you know, like a Christian Prince is playing a recording so he will not answer us so we can attack Is it true that your God Allah is a vagina blower hello call me zb what's your okay what's your account in skype call me zb hmm? how i can call you what's your what's your account why you don't call me <clears throat> it's not true well call me and we'll see anyway we'll, we will continue playing the video here but just to show you how the Muslims try to explain what Allah he did to Adam and they admit that Adam he was a victim of Allah Adam was a victim of Allah have you ever heard of such a stupid belief listen and love that's a taste the world that is free okay do you understand this verse better than your prophet you asked me to show you in the Quran free yes, will. Friend, I'm asking you now. So I'm just, so you I'm just showing you. Because you are giving me your interpretation, which is wrong. Do you understand this verse more than your prophet? Like I said, you no, told no, me to I, give I, you an my example. Friend, my, friend, my friend, no, you did not give me an example. I, I'm, I'm just saying to you, are you sure? Are you sure? Hold on, hold on. Are you sure that this verse calling out to God for forgiveness? My friend, my friend. Because they did something. This is what they say. This is what they say. But is it true? No, this is what the Quran just said. No, the Quran. No, the Quran says they say they say. Do you know how to read, my friend? The Quran says, 
Rabbuna zalamna anfusana. They said, our Lord, we wrong ourselves. They said. Okay. They said, okay. You know who, now, so we, who are they? Okay, do you understand this verse better than your prophet? Yes or no? So who do you who are they? The, uh, Adam and Eve. Do you understand? Okay. That, do you so, understand? So they did something, right? My friend, they, they did you, something. Do you they did, they did no something, problem, right? no problem. Do you understand? Come on, man. Come on, don't, 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 my friend, don't, my don't, friend. Don't, don't, okay, don't, okay. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Do you under, do you understand the Quran better than your prophet? Yes or no? Hey, look, man. That's a whole different topic now. You see, you know, a whole whole look like ah, look like you do not. Are you saying? Are you saying you don't agree with your prophet? Are you saying? Are you saying? Are you saying you don't agree with your prophet? Are you saying that your prophet? He's a foolish man. He do not know and he don't understand the Quran, but you know better. Are you saying that? What I'm saying is your question was answered. My friend, no, you are not. Adam you are not. This is not Adam about the free will. This is not about free will. This is not about the free will. This is what they say. Allah is the one who is fooling them. Allah, he deceived them. Allah, he deceived them. Allah, he made them commit sin. And I can prove it right now. You have no idea what you're talking about. Allah made them commit sin. This is why you are, you are not accepting the challenge. I am saying to you. What if I show you your prophet explaining this verse and proving you wrong? What you would do? Show me then. Okay, no problem. Here we go. Thank you. By the way, he said, show me. I like it. This is Sahih al-Bukhari in the front of me. And this is Sahih. All the hadith in the front of me is Sahih. Read with me carefully. The prophet said, Adam and Moses argued with each other. Moses said to Adam, Oh, Adam. You are our father who disappointed us and turned us out of paradise. Then Adam said to him, O oh Moses, Allah forced you, favored you with his talk, talk to you directly between two brackets. And he wrote between two brackets the Torah for you with his own, own hand. Do you blame me for an action which Allah has written for my, in my faith 40 years before my creation? So Adam, Muhammad continues saying, so Adam confuted Moses, Adam confuted Moses three times. Go ahead. Your prophet, he ad admit that Adam was a victim of a plan of Allah to commit sin. You cannot blame Adam for the sin he Adam he did, for this is, was the plan of Allah, and Adam have no free will. Okay, so... um. You're, you're acknowledging the fact that he still was redeemed. This is not our topic. Don't change the 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 topic. You say you say it. Okay. But this is not about redeem. This is about don't change the topic. This is about the free will. You say that the human being has a free will. He don't. He does. No, I, he was the story we're talking about is about Adam and Eve, correct? And here we go. Your prophet himself is saying that Adam was the winner in this debate. Why he was the winner? Because you cannot blame Adam for the sin he did, for this is written for him 40 years. It was the qadr of Allah for him. It is not his choice. So how you say to me that the angels have no free will, but the human being have a free will, when as you see, Adam's sin, it was nothing but a deception of Allah. Allah is the one who fooled them. Allah, he made them do the sin. You're a prophet, he said, if my nation, if you people don't commit sin and ask Allah for forgiveness, Allah will destroy you and bring people better than you who sin and ask for forgiveness. So your God, Allah, have a gain. He like people to sin so he can make them ask, please, Allah, forgive us. This is the, this is the gain. As you see here, Allah, is, Allah is, is using you, is playing with you. He made you do sin. He forced you to do sin. And then he asked you to ask for forgiveness so he feel like he is God. You have a self-esteem issue. Well... <laughs> I see, I see, I see how you, I see how you, uh, you know, facilitating your... What facilitating? This, this is in front of you, it's in the front of you. Why Allah, he made Adam sin, you tell me. It's in the front of you, why he made him sin, give me a reason. Adam was a good person. Allah did describe him, Allah forced tell, him to commit I tell, sin. I'll tell you why, I'll tell you why. Why? I'll tell you why. why. Tell me why. Because everything is now revolving around the same verse that you had brought in the beginning about the Lord entrusting a responsibility to the heavens and the earth. Mm. The Lord <clears throat> wanted to create a caliph. So the Lord wants a caliph. This is what the Lord wants, and the Lord will get what the Lord wants. The Lord wants a caliph, so the Lord is trying to find the right victim. You see? The right so victim, the guys. Did you, did, you hear? did you hear the right the victim? Lord, <laughs> Lord. Allah trying to find the hey. right victim. <laughs> I love it. 
but, well, it's still, but you know what it still does? It still establishes the My friend, I like you. I, I would like you day. to call me always. What's your name, by the way? What's your name? It's still... Hold on, I'm going to tell you all that. I'm going to tell you what, all what's that. What's your name, if you don't mind? Once I, don't mind. Once I say my piece. What's, what's, your name? what's your name, please? What's your name? My name is Saeed. Saeed, okay, Saeed. Listen, you just say that Allah, he have to choose the right victim, right? Indeed. You admitted that your God is the devil. Because why, why he cannot fulfill his plan to create a caliphate for the earth without finding a victim? Can't he make Adam a caliphate for the earth without fooling him and making him do sin? What is the point? Well, well, well there's a there's a hadith kutsi where the Prophet وسلم, said that when the Lord decided the Lord wanted to be known, so in order to be known, the Lord created creation. And through creation, the Lord made himself oh, known. Look at this. Allah so, to be known. <laughs> exactly. My funny so now, my friend, my friend. <laughs> so Allah he created Adam because he wanted to be known, and he chose Adam as a victim because he liked to be known. I mean, everybody like to be known these days. Allah cannot open YouTube to be known. Allah, he decided to create Adam and deceive Adam, and he made him a victim. This is what we heard from this guy. Now, this guy, uh, Abbas, he was trying to call. Let us see what Abbas want to say to us. <coughs> I hope he is not driving, because each time he call me, he says driving, so he will not read. He make it as an excuse. <coughs> Hello. Morning. Yes, Abbas. How are you? Good morning. Are you driving, Abbas? Yeah, I'm on my way to work. And <laughs> well, I do work as well, unlike you. <laughs> I told them before I speak to you, he will say I'm driving. You believe it? <laughs> well, I do work as well, you know. I know you, but why you call me when you are driving and you cannot read? Because how I can show you what I'm talking about? And you, you know, you say to you me always the because always you, you make the excuse question. that I cannot answer you now because I'm a driving. I go five minutes. I mean, I can speak to you five minutes. I mean, I, you ask a question. What is the question? Uh, show me where Jesus done poo poo. That's what you ask a question. Okay, so I'm go ahead. Show, show you me. where he done poo poo. Okay, go ahead. Show me. According, according to the Bible. Okay, show me. Yeah, yeah, first of all, no God will ever say that I do not know anything. Jesus says that. No, no, no. You said you said do poo 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 poo. We're talking about poo poo. But, but for God, this is the poo poo, isn't it? God ah, cannot say okay. I don't know anything. Okay, so when when uh, so let us agree, me and you. If God he claimed to know something and he is a stupid, that's mean he is doing poo poo. Do you agree? No. If God claims to know nothing. Okay. If that, isn't it the same? Is, isn't it the same? If God he claimed to know everything, but yet he he, he got busted that he do not know anything. Isn't it poo poo too? Absolutely, it is. Okay. Of course it so is. when your God Allah he says when, God when, you, when your Allah he says that the women have a sperm coming from their ribs, is that poo poo or not? Uh, oh well you're wrong, he didn't say that. What do you mean? Here we go. Say that. It's the hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me let me hold on, 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 hold on. In the front of everybody here, we don't say something without proving it. You you said to me many times you like Ibn Kathir. You said to me many times you like Ibn Kathir, did you? Uh, I never say I like him. I say, I mean, he's good. He's good interpreter. But I always tell you. Okay, hold no on. We go, to Ibn, we go to Ibn Kathir. We go to Ibn Kathir right in the front of our. Oh eyes. no 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 hold no! On, I'm hold sorry. On, hold Read on, the Quran. Hold tell on, me the Quran. What the Quran say first? Yes, then the Quran. We will show you the Quran and the interpretation, so you don't play games. This is the Quran, and your God, Allah, and proven I'm by you. He is doing big poo poo, and I hope you have a spray. Like to, I hope. Like I hope. I hope you will have enough spray now in your car. To cover the smell of the poopoo of Allah, read with me carefully. You don't tell me you are reading. I do, uh, driving. You can you can stop the car. Here we go. Oh, this is this is your God. This is your God saying that He created a man and a human being from a gushing fluid, which means sexual fluid. And here it says, proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs, meaning the mm -hmm. backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. Do you agree okay, or you the don't? Quran say, the Quran says that the backbone of the man yes, and the, the Quran, of the Quran says, says yes, that. Yes, yes, the Quran says that. The Quran says between the, the backbone the and the ribs. The screen is not on. Yes. screen is not on. It is in the front of me. It says, يَخْرُجُ مِنْ بَيْنِ الصُّلْبِ وَالتَّرَائِبِ At-Tara'ib means the ribs, the upper side of the ribs, not only the ribs, the location of the necklace specifically. Okay, did the word woman is used in that the word? Tarayb is a yes. word the tarayb is a use only for the word which is used for the bones of the women only. 
Okay, taraib, okay. Taraib is only used for the chest, uh, necklace part of the chest of the woman. Yes. That's what you say? Yes. Okay. Now you show me where does it say uh, the man in this verse. I'm making, I'm trying to make a point here. Okay, hold on. It says here in front of us that it's hmm. coming. This, the, okay, hold on, hold on. So are you saying to in me? In Arabic, in Arabic, where does it say the man? No, it doesn't say the word man here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Now I'm going to make my point here. All right. Allah says, Allah has created a uh, man. Hmm. I'm uh, reading the verse. Um, um, you, uh, you have to. Um, you have to excuse me. I got three minutes. Is that right with you? Because I, I have no problem. No problem. No problem. It's, remember, it's sexual yeah, fluid. Always, okay, yeah. uh, Abbas. Remember, it's sexual fluid. Okay. So this sexual fluid is coming from where, according to you? Go ahead. Oh, okay, I'm. I'm reading the verse. The the. Are you putting the verses one by one? The yes, one I have it that. in front of me. It says he created the uh, from water gushing forth. Meaning the yeah. sexual fluid. Thank you very much. Okay. So Allah says, do you remember the man that we have created you mm. from a gushing fluid? Mm. We agree this is talking about the sperm. Now the next verse says, coming out mm. from between the backbone mm. and the ribs. Of the woman. Now you are saying this is Allah talking about the sperm. And I'm, I'm not, I know you're going to have a big laugh after this because you, you're not going to accept it. Mm. But this Allah is talking about the human coming out. From between the ribs and the backbone, that's where the it's woman. It's talking about the woman. You coming up from there. But it says, my friend. It's, yeah. Hold on, hold on. It says, my own, okay, okay, okay. Let me show you how stupid you are. Are you saying that the baby come out as a gushing fluid? No, your no. Ma your mom, your, your mom, she did we, not give birth to you. According to you, according to you, your and mom, she did not. Hold on. According to you, being. your mom, she did not give birth to you. She did piss you off. Are you saying that? No, I didn't say that. You're putting words in because my mouth. Because it says it's a, it's, a, it's, it's a gushing fluid. It is, you, this is not a baby. It's a gushing fluid. Are you stupid or what? You are trying to say I that the woman she I is giving birth. Know. You are trying to say. Verses. Yes, in the verse after it, he continue. He's continue. This is, by, by the way, in the Quran, there's no verses. Th those numbers are added later. Allah did not send you number one, number two, number three. You are being a fool now. So there's no numbers okay, between so, them. Uh, so listen, listen. So he is oh, creating you. He is he created you from gushing fluid. Okay, what is the gushing fluid is? Okay, Allah is telling us. Do you know what we we have created? Remember what we have created you. We have created you from the gushing fluid. From where? Then say, Allah said, then coming out from the backbone and the ribs. That, that's called insan coming out from the backbone and rib, not the, the gushing fluid. That's where where the uh, human beings hold are. On, hold on, you are a liar. You are a liar. You are a liar. You are a big fat liar like your prophet. Now, in the front of everybody, no, 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 no. In the front of everybody, show me one interpretation says that it's this is about the women giving birth. Can you be generous with me? And I tell you that I am I, I'm generous. I'm, I'm here, I'm, I'm you here to spam you. You are doing people like your Allah now. Show me who is the one who agree with you. This is Ibn Kathir getting you busted in front of you. Do you want to show uh, you a Jalalain? Hold uh, on. Do you want uh, to show you a Jalalain? Uh, you want to show uh, you Abbas? Uh, two, uh, two or three of them who say this is insan is talking about and not the Gashin fluid. Who, 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 who is saying that? Who, saying, who, 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 who? Okay, I just have to. No, I have to go to work now. I'm going to call you back. <laughs> I, I'm so sorry. I, I, I next time bring your you diaper back. with you. I, I, okay, but next time bring your diaper with you. <laughs> it is proven that Allah is the one who do poopoo. -poo. What kind of God he teach that women she have a sperm coming from the location of the necklace of her ribs? That's not only poopoo. -poo, this is sewage. I'm driving now. Are you sure? I'm dry. All of them they are calling me when they are driving. They are very good drivers. Now, who is a Muslim when to give me a call? Look how many Muslims in the chat, but not in the, like when somebody you see the funny they say to us, you you cannot give interpretation for the Quran. We show them their scholars' interpretation, they don't want it. How many times this idiot he asked me to read Ibn Kathir? We show him Ibn Kathir, he don't want Ibn Kathir no more. Read carefully, this is Ibn Kathir. Proceeding from between the backbone of the uh, uh, and the ribs, the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. It, the, the fluid, is yellow and fine in texture. The child will not be born except from both of them. 
and actually Muhammad himself he have a hadith about that and the Kathir is using it if you go in the hadith you will see the Prophet of Islam doing big poopoo too and that's very good for him because if you don't do poopoo you might explode especially if you are full of it now look what Muhammad he says Read and laugh. All right. <laughs> Do you see it, my friend? A brother and sister. Let me introduce for you Dr. Muhammad. Dr. Muhammad, he knew everything about how the baby is created, and he learned that from his God Allah. And then he told that to Brother Dakar Naik. Dr. Zakir Naik, is it true, brother, that whoever has come first, the baby will resemble him? The brother and sister. They're the person his name is the Christian prince. And he always make fun of the Prophet of Allah. And I am a doctor. And I confirm to you that scientifically it's absolutely true. That if you have orgasm first, the baby will resemble you. And this is why me, Dr. Zakir Naik, I'm not going to have orgasm first. Because I'm not going to make my baby look like me. If the man or the women have orgasm first, the baby will resemble the parent. Hello, hello. I mean, this is very, very, very accurate. The prophet here is not lying, he knew what he's talking about. He graduated from Islamic Abad University, and right now, the prophet of Allah is teaching in Bangladesh. Any Abdul? <clears throat> I just asked CP to open the Bible. <coughs> I like it when the Muslim he said to me, "Open the Bible." Which Bible? The Bible of Allah, which is missing. Why you want me to open the Bible? Are you ashamed of your Quran? Are you ashamed of your Prophet? Why you are trying to change my topic, brother? You see, the Muslims, they do their best to divert you from exposing their false prophet. And I'm sure he will debate me about the Trinity. Christian Prince, I challenge you to debate me about the Trinity. All your religion about the Trinity. Even the first verse in the Quran is Allah, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, three names of Allah. You Muslims, you convert to Islam, you say the Shahada three times. You go to court, you have to say the the, the, the oath three times. You divorce your wife, you have to do it three times. You do ablution, you have to wipe your hand, your fingers, your nose, everything the three times. Your feet, everything in Islam is a three times. Mary, Allah, she made, he made, she made her fast from talking for three times. Zachariah from talking for three times. Everything in this cult is a three times, and yet you say we don't believe in the Trinity. And even the hadith we were reading, actually, by the way, about Muhammad, in case you do not know, Muhammad, when he say Assalamu Alaikum, he say it three times. Have you ever believed, have you ever seen a man, he is obsessed with the three times? You don't believe in number three or the Trinity, but you have to do everything three times in Islam. Otherwise, you're a Muslim. When Allah he supplicate to Allah, when Muhammad he supplicate to Allah, he have to do it three times. When he do ablution, he have to do every limb three times. 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 Three times, three times, three times, three times. Come back tomorrow, three times. Take a nap, three times. You can sleep and take a nap tomorrow. We will keep going and going and going and find you find thousands and thousands of a three times. All your cult is based on number three. Hello? 
Hello. Hmm. What is that? This guy, he's stuck with number three. If you say the word Rahman 33 times, Allah forgive your sin and send you to paradise. 33 times. Allah names is 99, which is multiply of the age of Jesus, etc. 33. He lived in earth three the father the son the Holy Spirit What a stupid cult Hello Now who is a Muslim want to give me a call Any Abdul? Any three time Abdul? I want the Abdul to call me three time. Anyone? Even by the way, the Prophet he told the Muslims, if you piss, you have to. Uh, <clears throat> <coughs> I'm trying to find the the word for it. You have to shake your penis. Mm, not not really shake it. I mean, you have like I don't know how to explain to you. Let's see. <laughs> Oh boy, there's a Muslim is trying to call me. Is that right? Hold on. Who tried to call me? I heard something, but there's no call. And there's nothing appear. <coughs> um, fake alarm. Uh... <coughs> No, I hear like as if somebody is trying to call, but I don't see it in my list. Who is this guy? Okay, hold on. Only, only, only call me if you are a Muslim, please. Okay, I'm trying just to find you the hadith in English, just to show you how Muhammad is obsessed with number three. Which means the perfection in Islam is only come with number three, even when you do something about pissing. Clean your nose. Muhammad, he believed that shaitan, he sleep in your nose. I mean, by the way, this is proven to be true. Hello? Hello? Hello, princess. Speak nicely. Abdul Ali. Your your voice is cutting off. Can you hear me properly? No. <clears throat> Stop moving your mic. Go ahead. <coughs> what do you want to say to us? Uh, can you hear me clearly or not? Go ahead. What do you want to say to us? Stop moving the yes, mic. So how are you, princess? You see, if you want to insult, I will return the insult to your prophet who with eyeliner in his eyes three times. He <laughs> pissed like a woman <laughs> and he kiss men down their belly. Is that true or not? Listen, you, you no, 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 listen, 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 listen. You know what? Why, why you are calling me princess? If you are a prophet, is the one who pee like a woman. He kiss men down their belly. He sleep with men in the bed, and even Baba, he have sex uh, with men. So Baba, who, who is the one? Who is the one? Is the princess here? Can Ooh. you answer? 
Coward, he hang up. You see who is the coward? Why you hang up? Let us discuss if it is true that your prophet he kiss men down their belly. Have you ever heard? And the guy he was saying to him, Yeah, prophet, yeah, prophet, don't stop. I like it there. Is that true? So if you are calling me to insult me, feel free, no problem. But be a man and take a stand for what you see. He never pee standing as a man, he pee as a woman. He put eyeliner. He said himself he never received Quran unless he wear his wife clothes. There's a connection between the underwear or the clothes or the dress of Aisha and the Quran. Allah will not send Quran unless Muhammad wearing women clothes and specifically Aisha. And you are talking about princes, you coward. Who is next? <clears throat> Let us see here. We have another Muslim. <clears throat> Answer Abdul. Hello. The Christian Prince. Yes, Asa. How are you? Yes. How do I put this on speaker? Hmm? Hold on. Give me one second. All right. Hello. Yes, go ahead. What do you want to say to us, Isa? <clears throat> Why don't you be like Jesus more and come to Islam with respect? Huh? Well, Jesus never respect Islam. Jesus, he said to us, don't pray like the hypocrite who pray in the corner so everybody will know they are praying. And this is what the Muslims do. Jesus, he called people like you. <laughs> Jesus, he called people like you. Know, you know, also Jesus said, Jesus said, go behind closed doors and pray to your father yes and your father who so why you don't follow will, so why you don't follow jesus as long you agree you pray for to, so as, as, long, as long you you agree, as long you agree with this how you come you muslims you, you do opposite. did he say go behind closed doors and pray to me did he say go behind closed doors and pray to he, me yes to because he don't want he don't want, he don't want us to be hypocrite like muhammad tell me christian prince hmm. did he say pray to the father or pray to me what he said, I am and the Father is one. Who did he say? Did he say, did I he can, say the did one he say who saw me? Did, did he say, did he say the one who who saw the who saw me? He saw the Father. Did he say me and the Father is one? Yeah, he did. Okay, that's it. So why you are forgetting you know the why? verse? You know and why? Remember in the print. verse. No, no, no. Hold on. Because can Muhammad say the one who saw me? He saw Allah. What was that? Can Muhammad say the one who saw me? He saw Allah. Of course not. Why not? Because one man cannot present everything that God is. Okay, so cannot. when Jesus he said, the one who saw me, he saw Allah, that's mean he is saying right. clearly. That's why at Allah. the end of the verse he said the father is greater than I. Doesn't matter. He, he, he hold on, hold on, hold on. I just asked you, hold on, you see, no problem, no problem. You see, you are just being hypocrite. You are the one who just said I, that Muhammad will never say that the one who saw me, he saw Allah. So why Jesus said the one who saw me, he saw so so God. Okay, mm. because because when he said that, mm. what he meant was mm. that he's the best representation. He's the Messiah. So the Muhammad right? is not he the, is the one. So, who, he so has the law in his okay, let me let me let me take it from you. You are saying that Muhammad is not the best representation, and Jesus is more qualified to say the one who saw me, he saw God. Not more qualified, but at the end of the verse, he says the Father is greater than I. Doesn't That's matter. Doesn't, doesn't matter. You know? Doesn't matter. But you you just say that Muhammad he cannot say that. What do you but mean Jesus, it doesn't matter? You, you are the one who said to me that. You are the one who said to me that Muhammad, he cannot say well, that the one the who saw Muhammad me, he saw Allah. That, but Jesus, he can say that. Because okay. what happened when Jesus said that? What happened? What did people do? What people do? What are you doing now? What people do? What are you doing now? You see, don't who change do you the topic. Jesus? Why? Well, don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Why Muhammad cannot say the one it's who saw me, he saw Allah. And Jesus, he said the one who saw me, he saw Okay. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam cannot say that mm. because look what you guys say with Jesus peace be upon him. 
So you are saying to me because Jesus That's said, one. okay, hold on, okay, okay. Clear, so you are saying to me, okay, so you are saying to me because Jesus said that the one who saw me, he saw the Father. That means this is why we believe he is God. Is that correct? Say it again. You are saying that because Jesus, he said, the one who saw me, he saw God, he saw the Father. Because of that, we Christian believe that he is God. Yes. Well, you have your basis for saying that he's God. No, no, I'm asking you, is that because you want to ignore, you so, okay, the you see, that has gone back to zero. Let's go back to right zero. Muslims, they, love to, the the Muslims they love to play games, they will never answer. Let's go to zero. Why Muhammad cannot Wait. say, why Let's Muhammad cannot say, why it's Muhammad a, cannot say, the so. one who saw me, he saw Allah, but <laughs> Jesus, he can say, the one who saw me, he saw God. Why okay. he say that? <laughs> what was that? You will not answer, or you will well, because like he's he no he came to clarify. Why would he? Why would he come and say the same thing when you guys already messed it up one time? Oh, he's so not going to come and okay, say the same okay, thing. Okay, and then, okay, and okay. Hold on, hold on. But still, you're answering he's me. Give the still, you are not answering me. Why, Muhammad? Why, Muhammad? Hold on. Listen, listen, listen. You are, you are, you are, you are being hypocrite. You are trying to avoid the answer. Why Jesus can say that, but Muhammad he cannot say. Everybody heard you saying you cannot take okay, it back. So first of all, uh -huh. first, first of all, first of all. Let's put this on the first basis. We don't even know if Jesus, peace be upon him, said that. Okay? Because at the end of the verse, he says the Father is greater than I. We can never say Jesus said, I am greater than the Father. What? Every, I, he said that everything he says comes from the Father. He said that he was sent well, from the Father. Well, he is the word of God anyway. Did he? He send is the, him he is the word of God. He is, Jesus is the walking. Let me let me answer you. Let me answer you. Jesus is the word, the word walking, that's talking, that's living agree. word of God in earth. So he is the word of God. Let me ask you now: Is the word of God created? That's fine. Is the word of God created? Now you're going to use this one. You're going to you're going to. I'm asking you, don't avoid, to don't avoid the answer. You, is you, see, is the word of God, is, is the word of you God. Have your own answers don't you see, you are running away. You, we arrived to, uh, to a point, me and you, we agree that okay. Jesus is the word of God. You agreed. Okay. Now, is the you word of God, point, hold on, is the word of God created? No, you need to answer. Is the word of God created? Please. God's knowledge is infinite. This is not the question. Is the word of God is created? Jesus, the person, yes. This is not the question. Is the word of God created? Kalimat Allah, Jesus, peace be upon him, was created. The word of God, meaning his knowledge, According to is Islam, Quran, is you, are, you are a liar infinite. and you are a kafir. According to Islam, the word of God is not created. But that wasn't describing what Jesus will speak on him. That's doesn't not doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if he, if he is the word of God. If he is the word of God, hold on, hold on, hold on. You see, you are, like you, are being a, you are being a hypocrite. Let me ask you. Let me make it simple. 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 Hold on. Are you going to you keep talking? Why can you see right now? If I get you busted right now and show you that Muslims they agree that the one who believe that the word of Allah is created, he's a kafir. What you will do? Okay. What would you do if I told you that? Mary's father is God and she's the mother of God. So what what about that? What what Mary? what Mary father? What is she the daughter? Of, is she the daughter of God? Everyone's Who? children of God, right? What? Mary is the, Mary what are you the talking about? What are you talking about? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You see, you are trying to avoid. We will, we will go to anywhere that? you want. I'm Guys, trying. look, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this deception. He is trying points. to avoid the question. Is the word of God the created? Of God. We can. We Everyone. will go. We will go. You see, you are being a coward. Is the word of God is it created? You said yes. You said yes. You said yes. You are a coward. If I show you right now that the Muslim believe that the one who believe that the word of Allah is created is a kafir, what you will do? Okay, I un understand what you're saying, brother. Okay, I I'm understand not the brother saying, for but you. You're attributing one thing. I'm asking you now. If I show you in the front of everybody, that's that like saying the I one who believe. Pedal, I press the pedal, one hold on, pedal, one hold on. Pedal. Stop being a liar. If I show you that the Muslim believe that the one who believe that the word of Allah is created is a kafir, what you will do? Do you announce yourself that you are a kafir? So between me and Allah subhanahu wa taala. You see, you are being hypocrite now. The Muslim don't believe in what you are saying. Are you a Muslim or you? Wow, what are you? Jesus said, "The gate to destruction." Are you? Very are wide. you a Muslim? What are you? Why you are saying the word of Allah is created? Why you are saying? 
Who, who is the one like who the told you, you, said, you stop know, you being a hypocrite? I want an answer. Why you are saying hands. something is not a, Islamic? You are a liar. You are a liar. It's laughable. Why you are saying that? Why you are saying the word of Allah is created based on what? The word of Allah, Kalimat Allah, Jesus, peace be upon him. If you're speaking of Jesus, peace be upon him. I'm not, I'm not speaking about but anyone. I'm about speaking the about the word of Allah. Allah. Is the word of Allah? Hold on. Is the word of Allah? Hold on, potato. Is the word of Allah created? Yes or no? Is the word of Allah created? Yes or no? <laughs> I'm, guys, I'm going to give him an answer. Hmm. No, it's not created. There okay, let me let me go. show you. Okay, oh, no. thank you. Thank Tell you. me now. Okay, let me okay. ask you. Let me yeah. ask you. Okay, is Jesus was exist before his birth? <laughs> was Jesus exist before his birth according to Islam? Well, was he before his birth? Yes, he was exist before his birth. Or you not? mean like a like a, was it a plan or no? No, this is not the question. Mean? He was as a person exist before was before his birth. Uh, uh -huh. hmm. Was he exist uh -huh. or not? Okay. Oh man, you twist it up, man. Okay, I'm not, no, uh, don't, don't don't play games. Was he so exist as right? a person? Was right? he exist as a person or not before he came to earth before his birth? No, brother. Okay, so why the Quran is saying and let us read together? <laughs> you know how to read, right? <laughs> oh, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, here we go. go read with me. <laughs> what translation do you like to read? I don't see, I can't see it. Hmm? How do I do it? Can I go over what, to you? What now? translation you like to read? <clears throat> uh, hold on. I don't care. Hmm? I don't care. You don't care. No problem. All right. Let us go and choose a famous translation. Which Muslims always use? And actually, you speak Arabic, right? So read for me in Arabic and translate your own translation. <laughs> Look at all these guys in the comment section. <laughs> read. Uh, if you are a kid, I'm going to hang up on you. Either you are being serious as an adult, or I will hang up on you. Read for me and translate, please. Don't hang up. I mean, no. Uh, okay. Put it in then, English. then read for us, please. No, I don't read Arabic. What do you mean? You know, you don't read Arabic. Pull, uh, read me Aramaic. You don't read Arabic, so you pray to Allah in Arabic, but you do not know Arabic. But Jesus didn't speak English. Come on now. Oh, how you know that Jesus don't speak English? Come on, man. Stop playing. Come on. Read the verse. You see, you're just being a kid. It says here that Allah said to Mary that he have not used for her a word from him. His name is the Messiah. Do you agree with that? Yes. Okay. Guys, did he say that? That his name is the Messiah, which means he was exist before his birth. His name is the Messiah. Yes. Okay. So, so he was he, he was the Messiah before he was born. So the Messiah when he was before he was born, where he was? The Bible, the Bible says, "I knew you before you were born." Okay, the no Bible problem. Says, okay, no. Birth. Okay. So thank you. Now, Jesus, the Messiah, he was a Messiah, exist as a person before he was born. Where he was? Not as a person, it doesn't say that. So, how his name it's is the Messiah, plan. how his name was the Messiah, if he is not a person? Because God already knew who the Messiah was going to be before he no, created it. No, it doesn't say he will be, it doesn't say he will be, it doesn't say he will be, and you agreed. It says his name is the Messiah, not will be. His name is the Messiah. So, his name is the Messiah. His name now, his name is El Messiah. Where he was when his name was the Messiah before his because born. he knows yes that's no problem this is not that's about no knowing this is not about God knowing his name now the, the woman she is not a Britney yet she is not no she is not going to have she, no she will have that's Jesus later because Allah subhanahu wa taala knows he knows, knows who he's going to be already he knows what he's going to do he knows how many steps he's going to take 
Okay, hold the on, Bible hold on. Okay, knows, okay. He knows how many what does this have to do? Head? What this have to do with knowing? You know this. His name is. His name, not his name, will his be. His name is. His of name course. is. Okay, let me. You, you know what? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, 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 hold on. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Is the Messiah? Was he? Was he the Word of God sent down to Mary? Was he the Word of God sent down to Mary? Yes. Okay. Where it was the Word of God was <clears throat> before it arrived to Mary. Where it was the Word. I don't know where is anybody before. That's I'm asking you down. where the word of of Allah was before it given to Mary. Where it was. <clears throat> I don't know. Do you know? You tell me. You are the Muslim. I'm talking about your God, not my God. It does. That's not my purpose. Suddenly, okay, I will give you two options. Where the word, the of, Allah, the word of Allah comes from where? Me. The you word of Allah, the, the word of Allah come from creation. where? Okay, know. hold on, don't play games. The word of Allah come from where? No, I'm not playing games. Okay, so the word of Allah come from where? According to you, warehouse, Home Depot, where? <laughs> Stupid Ooh. idiot. Let your dad call me. When they when they got red in their ass, they try to change the topic and they try to laugh. Either you are a man to talk to me, or if you are a kid, go and talk to people like you. As long as you agree that his name is the Messiah, he was exist. As long as you agree that he is the word of God sent down to Mary, that's when he was a word before he became a man. And that's what the Bible says. In the beginning, it was the word, and the word was with God, and the word is the God, and the word became a man. So you're a stupid Muhammad. He's trying to copy Christianity, putting it in the Quran, but he got himself busted by copying the same value and the same belief. Jesus the Messiah was the word of God. Before he come to us as a person born of a human. Which means his existence have nothing to do with his birth. This is why Jesus said, you dummy. He said, before Abraham I am. How he can be before Abraham? The verse here in the Quran explained to us. His existence have nothing to do with his birth. I am the Alpha. I am the Omega. I am the beginning. I am the end. So when a silly Muslim, he says to us, Jesus said, my father is a greater than me. That's very, very simple to understand because he is coming to us in a humble image of a flesh of a human being. God, the glory is amazing. This is why if you see God, the way he is with his glory, you will not survive it. So God, he humble himself. And he come to us, and this is what the Bible says, that Jesus, the Messiah, the Christ, is the visible image of the invisible God. But Muslims, they read for us verses only, they quote it, so they can misquote it. What about you read the holy chapter for me? Only that verse that Jesus says, my father is greater than me, is the only verse, is a true verse for you? Didn't you see the word even saying, my father? Can Muhammad say that Allah is my father? You will, you, you Muslims, you will say no way, right? We ask you, can Muhammad say that the one who saw me, he saw Allah, you say no. And then we says, why Jesus says that? You said, and everybody heard you. And I hope everybody will copy this video and share it around. You said because Muhammad cannot present the perfect God, but Jesus, he can. And you just admitted that Jesus, the Messiah, the Christ is a perfect to the point he is a qualified to say the one who saw me, he saw God. Who is next? <clears throat> Anyone? And you know, look at this. We are debating about Muhammad being a child molester. Kissing men down their stomach. We have the reference. Receiving Quran only if he wear women clothes. Cheating in his wife bed and disproving in the Quran. Stating, stating false statement like women she have a sperm coming from her breast. The man his sperm is coming from his backbone and this is why I bought a cushion. I'm worried about my backbone. 
we are debating about if Muhammad can be qualified even to be a prophet and we are debating if Jesus is God or not the debate the nature of the debate alone is a proven to us that Muhammad is nothing and Jesus is everything to the point even the Muslims they cannot speak negative about Jesus and if they do they are just being desperate because who can speak negative about Jesus and right now as we speak in the cult of Islam Jesus is now in heaven watching us and Muhammad is dead in the grave with the cockroaches which they attacked the Kaaba just a few weeks ago doing Hajj actually I was going to ask the Saudi Arabia to go to Mecca to take selfie with the cockroaches around the Kaaba because they are from many coming from around the world Chinese cockroaches Japanese cockroaches Filipino cockroaches European cockroaches I mean it was the biggest visit of cockroaches ever millions of cockroaches and the video is all over YouTube and the funny the Muslims in Saudi Arabia they are saying that because the crown prince he allowed the Muslim uh, women sheep should to, to sing in Saudi Arabia the cockroaches they attack the Kaaba and look how funny the Muslims are so if I do something wrong Allah will send cockroaches to his Kaaba to his house not my house so now a Christian prince he is exposing Allah so what Allah do he sent cockroaches to the Kaaba not to my house <laughs> I mean, do you see the wisdom here? And to make it more funny, the Quran have a chapter. It's called the chapter of the elephant. When an army of elephant decide to attack the Kaaba, Allah He send birds, and they throw rocks at those elephants, and they destroy them. <clears throat> Why Allah don't send spray? The Saudi they are buying spray from England and from USA to fight the cockroaches around the Kaaba. The funny the Quran it says that nobody is any clean from the kuffar is allowed to enter the Kaaba. What? Anyone is not a Muslim is dirty, filthy according to Islam, and this is a chapter nine, verse number twenty-eight. So, does that mean the cockroaches are clean? So Allah prevent the non-clean from entering the Kaaba, but cockroaches they can go around and take selfie. And the funny it says in the same verse that Allah is all knowing, all wise. We have a guy, his name is Latif. Latif, he's saying, and then you come and speak nonsense about other religion. Why you don't say that to your prophet who insult the Christians and call us dirty, filthy nudges, as you see? Why it's okay to your prophet to insult us, to call us kuffar, to call us mushrikeen, to call us nudges, filthy, the worst of the creatures, and you don't complain. And not only that, you curse us five times a day when you recite the chapter of Al-Fatiha. You say to Allah, please Allah, please, please don't make us the same as the cursed Jews and the lost Christians. Latif is very sensitive. He's upset. Why you are talking nonsense about religion of others? All your religion is based in insulting others. And now Latif is upset. Please don't hurt the feeling of Latif. Last time Latif, his wife, she hurt his feeling. Do you know what he did? He slept without socks. To show his anger. Somebody's asking me, <clears throat> does your God die? Thank you very much. You just said that the one who don't die, he must be God. 
according to Islam, Jesus is alive and never die. Do you see how silly, how stupid the Abdul? You yourself, you just got your prophet busted. If Jesus is just a man, how come Jesus is still alive since thousands of years until now? Are you there, Abdul? Do God die? No, he don't. Who said he die? Who said that he die? We don't believe that God he die. Only you fool believe in that. They crucify the body, the flesh of the Messiah. But God never die. He created the flesh. And he is alive without it, before it, and after it. And because of that, he's alive until now. Our God is a living God. It is your God who is dead. Prove to me that your God is not dead. Let me prove to you that your God is a fufu dead. In the Quran, your God, he said the following. Allah, he made a threat. <clears throat> To the Christians and the Jews, if they don't believe in Allah, Allah will erase the details of our face. And look at your prophet. He made a threat that Allah would do that to us and nothing happened. Do you know why? Because he keep calling Allah, calling Allah, calling Allah and his phone is dead because he is dead too. Any Muslim want to answer how Muhammad, he made a threat that if you don't believe in me as a prophet and in Allah as God, Allah will erase your faces. You cannot even erase my microphone. Can you? Who died in the cross? The flesh of the man. You see, just to show you how, how silly you are, if I ask you right now, is Muhammad dead or alive? What you will say? You will say he's dead, right? Look what your prophet said. Just to show you how stupid the Muslims when they have this argument. Your prophet claim that when he is in the grave, he's alive, and not only him, even you. To the point you have a punishment of the grave and 99 snakes will go inside your anus. So as long as you believe that the one who is in the grave is dead and God don't die, then you must be God who is punished in the grave by 99 snakes. Each one of them have seven heads going inside your anus. Do we have any Muslim who want to speak like a man? He want to call me. Man, his name is Muhammad. He claimed that when he is in the grave, the prayer of the Muslims will be sent to him. Obviously, this guy is mentally ill. He claimed to be God. Because a prayer of believers should not be sent to a man, should be sent to God. Number two, for a man to be able to review all the prayers of the believers, he have to be God. Number three, you are dead in the grave and you are reviewing the prayers. Who is the stupid here? Who is a Muslim? He have the courage and the knowledge.
but I'm so glad that this guy Isa he admit that Jesus he can say that the one who saw me he saw the father he saw God but Muhammad he cannot say that did you hear him that's amazing actually this is so beautiful a Muslim he admit that Muhammad he is no way even close to say that the one who saw me saw God but Jesus he can say that for he can represent God in earth and this is what he said and it's recorded the Muslim admitted that Jesus is the only qualified to be the visible image of the invisible God Do we have any Abdul? According to Quran, Jesus, he can resurrect people from death. He can make the blind see. He can heal the leper. He can even create from the mother bird. What is left for God he can do and Jesus cannot do? Actually, let me ask you this. Can you prove to me that your God Allah can do any of what Jesus did? People in the time of Muhammad, they keep asking him, why your God don't have a miracle? Why your God don't send you a miracle? Do you know what Muhammad said? Allah, he joined the yellow vest in France and he is doing a strike and we refrain from sending signs only because former generation treat them as false well this is a false argument because we Christians as you see we believe in every miracle Jesus did we believe in every miracle any prophet did do you see it only in the time of Muhammad, Allah refrained from sending signs. That's it, he is out of gas. I refrain, sorry. <laughs> Allah have time to tell us about the end, speaking to the other ends. Allah have time to tell us about Alexander the Great. He found the sun sitting in the murky water. Allah, he have time to tell us about the flying carpet of Solomon. But Allah has no time to make one miracle for Muhammad. And the funny, the Muslim, they say that the Quran itself is a miracle. If so, that Allah is a stupid. Why? Guys, how many of you heard the Muslims saying the Quran itself is a miracle? If the Quran itself is a miracle, so how Allah, he say, we refrain from sending signs if the Quran itself is a sign? Hello? It's like saying to you, I am not going to cook falafel while I am doing falafel or making falafel. By saying this statement, it's a it's a sign, supposedly, it's a miracle. So how you say we refrain from sending signs? Obviously, your God Allah is taking too much hashish. And not only it's a hashish, it's a bad quality of hashish made in Afghanistan. It's like Joe the plumber, he is fixing your faucet when he's saying to you, I will not fix your faucet. I will not even touch it. But Joe, you are fixing it already. You are done. And by the time he finishes his statement, the faucet is fixed. Hello? It's me you're looking for? But anyway, you know, for me, I really I like to convert to Islam. The only thing is worrying me when the prophet he promised us we will have endless penis and in the other day I was watching Discovery Channel in YouTube 
and I saw those ants man they are crazy they will eat you alive so imagine brother your penis go all the way to the Amazon jungle and you are not there I mean you cannot defend your penis your your penis is left alone in the jungle and all those crazy ants and the other fish did you see those fish with the sharp teeth in the water of the Amazon River so brother imagine your penis is like walking down the street in the Amazon River in the Amazon River la 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 and he's alone and suddenly those fishes they go aggressive in your penis oh boy I mean this is a reward of Allah or it's a penalty and what is making me go crazy brother that my penis is going to be endless, but yet my wife is next to me. So if I want to have sex with her, what I will do? Make you turn? I, I like created the endless penis for what reason? Is that like long distance dating? Your wife is next to you in the room and your penis in Chicago and you live in China. And your wife, she said to you, she's Chinese. Ching -ho, he -ho, he -ha. And the guy, he says to her, oh, ha -ho, ha. which means Allah, Allah, only Allah knows where the, where the end of my penis now, what I can do. We have to wait for it to come back. So all of this makes sense to you. And Jesus being God does not make sense. I'm really, really convinced that Islam makes sense. I mean, who can, who can, you know, disagree that Islam makes sense? What's wrong with you people? Muslims expect to be insulted by Christians the day you rewrite your holy books stop lying bless me god the christians will stop insulting you no we are not insulting muslims my friend you see i'm not talking about muslims i'm talking about islam muslims are poor people they don't even know what islam is about how many times you people you heard me asking a muslim if allah is a spirit or not and they say to me he is a spirit tons of time right and even they speak arabic they don't know until now that Allah is not a spirit. They are poor people. They have no idea. They are copy paste. You know, they are they are victims of copy paste. And this is why a lot of them, when you watch my videos, they leave Islam. They got shocked in the beginning. They get upset in the beginning. But this is very normal because they never heard this before. I feel sorry for them. I'm not against the Muslims. There's nothing personal here. Any Abdul? We have, what, almost 800 people <laughs> watching, not even one Muslim want to call us. And you know, the most funny thing, when a Muslim, he speak about making sense. It makes sense that Allah will create for me women who they are virgins, and each time I have sex with them, Allah will fix them and make them virgin again. Allah enjoy having women having pain. And not only that, you see, it makes sense that Allah will make a lot of women because I prayed for Allah, and that will make him make special women just to play with them sex makes sense and you see god he created adam and eve but allah he will create adam and thousands of eves and then allah oh sorry allah prophet he go extreme when he says that the women she will have an ass of one mile which is really to be admit to to be honest with you. I like big TV screen. I mean, come on, size does matter. One mile size. It makes sense. 
imagine you have a wife and her ass is small what you can do with this, such an ass I mean this is horrible this is embarrassing what you will say to your friends your wife ass is only six meters wide how embarrassing Allah will not allow such an embarrassment for you one mile ass my friend and the Quran described for us how beautiful the women boobs 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 mm. look at this brother this is the only God he described for us how the boobs of the women they will look in the heaven Don't ask me to read this word in English, please. It's going to take me a week to finish it. Hold me. Let, let me let me pronounce it for you. Volo batutos. And you ask me why I keep always saying the word potatoes. What is that? The women they will have big, firm, round breast, brother. Allah is very perfect. He knew what he is doing. The best God to do plastic surgery. Somebody take the address of this clinic, please. Are we lying, Muslims? It's in the front of you. This is your Muslim translation. You give me a week to pronounce this word. I will come back to you. Yeah, I'm very pleased, my friend. I'm very pleased. I'm very pleased with your God sexual morality who promised you that in heaven you will have sex with your mother Shall I play for you some of the your previous Muslim debate with me? To show you how amazing the heaven of Allah is So Jesus teaching in the Bible for you is not good, but what your prophet said is good Alhamdulillah For. And uh, do you think you, will, yes. Mr. Russ? Why you're upset? You said you, 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 you said you said this Nothing guy is, is a fraud. Sin in heaven, huh? Nothing is sin in heaven. Thank you very much. That's what I'm saying. In heaven, you can have sex with the goat. It's fine for you, right? Not nothing sin. There's no nothing sin. You can sin. you yeah. can have sex with your mother. Okay. Yes. Well, okay. So you can have, you are proud about having sex with your mother. You and your father, you will have sex with the same woman, which is your mother. Anything, anything is fun. Everything comes from God in heaven. No problem. So in the heaven of Allah, you will have a threesome, you and your father and your mother in the bed. Okay. And you don't see that there's something wrong with that. What do you not understand about nothing is sin? Well, I, I, I'm just trying to understand, my friend. You see, I'm not smart like sin. you. We think it's sin due to our social okay. structure. If, if, the, if that can make, I'm not trying to insult, by the way. I'm not trying to insult. Don't take guys. He is saying to me, I just said to him, Can you have sex with your mother? He said, What make you think it is sin? Did you hear it? We have the video. There's many people they call me in that day. If you remember, the guy from Morocco, too. Uh, I would try to find it so I play it for you, but this is the one always coming my way. The guy from Morocco, he said, So what's the problem? What's the problem? What's the problem? What what? What's your problem? In heaven, he will have sex with his mother. What's your problem? I mean, what's wrong with you? Christian Prince, what's wrong with you, brother? What's the problem? Interpretation. It's true, but this is the interpretation. This is your scholar, or to be, and uh, this is not me. 
This is not a Christian scholar. Mm -hmm. Why Al Qur'an to be saying that, my mm -hmm. friend? Why Al Qur'an to be saying that? Why Al Qur'an to be saying that? Let me see. Okay. Is he is not a prophet? He can be. He can do any mistake. Hmm. He's not a prophet. Yes. But the Quran says, okay. Let me ask you. According to the scholars of Islam, is your daughter from adultery yes. is considered as your daughter? By the way, this guy is talking to me here. Is a Moroccan. Let me skip to the part we talk about the heaven here. This part we are talking about having sex with your daughter. In case you do not know, according to Islam, if a Muslim man he have a daughter out of marriage, he can have sex with her because she is not considered as a daughter. The Quran in chapter 4 verse 23 forbidding Muslims from having sex with their daughter. But if she is a daughter from marriage, she can be called daughter. So if a Muslim he have a girlfriend and she get a child from him, from him, he can have sex with the mother and the daughter. And this is what we show in the screen. And he is saying, well, the scholar saying that this is not the prophet. No, it's not the scholar. This is the Quran saying that. And then we ask him about the heaven. And the guy, he said the same. There's no problem. You can have sex with your mother. What a problem. Have, uh, sex with your mother and your daughter. Mm. Okay, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Okay. okay. Does the Quran say the, the opinion of the scholar saying I can have Allah, he wished to have sex with his mother. It's fine. He can have sex with his mother. Why you are saying it's okay? Is that going to be granted? It depends on the person. Okay, so you are saying to me, guys, did you hear it? If a man in the heaven of Allah, he wished to have sex with his mother, it's fine. He can have sex with his mother. Why you are saying it's okay? Uh, okay, according to who is, is it wrong in the heaven? Okay, I'm asking you according, to, you said it's it's right, no problem. I'm not saying wrong or right, I'm asking you. It's what is the wrong. wisdom, what is the so wisdom, wrong. what is the wisdom in your religion that in the heaven you can have sex with your mother? In the heaven, you can. You, Allah will give you what you, whatever you want. If you want it, this is your your, your business. So okay. So in, in in the heaven of Allah, if somebody he is a gay, he's a homosexual, and he would have sex with men, is he going to be granted men to have sex with? My friend, Allah, He says you will get whatever you want. He didn't go to the details. My friend, that's it. I got you. I got you. So so in the heaven of Allah, in the heaven of Allah. Hmm? In the heaven of Allah, you will have whatever you wish. A guy who is a gay, he like to have it bang bang from the wrong location. You know what I'm talking about. Allah, He will grant him. Allah will give him. Allah will give him a gay to if uh, together. So your the the heaven of your God is uh, what, what is that? I mean, when we say whatever you wish, that's mean. So what the point of saying you cannot do this in earth, but you can do it, you can do it in heaven? Why Allah says that being a gay in earth is a big sin, but being a gay in heaven is okay? Do you know why? Why? Because this, because in the earth we it's it's a test. But after in the heaven there is no sin, there is nothing, there is no. Do. So guys, do you see they're repeating the same thing? And even he said later that if you want to have sex with his prophet, there's no problem. If a man wanted to have sex with Muhammad himself, make Muhammad bend over. He said it's okay. Have you ever heard of a more satanic cult like this? They keep saying that there is no sin in heaven, which means in the Islamic heaven, there is no morality. You sleep with your mother, with your daughter, with men, with women, with the children, even with Muhammad. You go to Muhammad, you ask him to bend over and you bang, bang, Muhammad. It is okay. Everything is okay. The day of judgment, so you will live here for for okay. forever. So in the heaven of Allah, in the heaven of Allah, you Muslims are a bunch of hippies. You are a bunch of hippies. You you have your penis in your hand, and you go and you put your penis wherever you wish. Just what you are saying to me, right? Your mother, your sister, your daughter, your neighbor, your brother, you have everybody. This is what you are saying to me. There is no limitation. You have whoever in your way. My friend, when Allah say you can have whatever you want. Mm. If you want something, if you want to, if someone, mm. what, what if somebody? Okay, hold on. I, I'm not, I'm not trying to insult my friend. Listen to me. Listen to me. What if a man? He, what if a man he wished to 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 f your prophet? Can I answer? Yes, sure. Go ahead. If you want to do anything, 
to, to someone else. The person that you want to do it, he also, he want to, if he refuse, he, you cannot do it, you know? Mm. Because it depends on the two person. It doesn't say that. Do no, it you. doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. It says whatever you wish. Whatever you wish as okay. an individual, not ever, uh, whatever you wish and, you know, whatever you wish. But anyway, anyway, if a man, he, if a man, okay, if a man, he wanted to have sex with your prophet, Allah, he said to him, whatever you wish. Is that okay? And the, and the prophet also, he have what he will wish. Okay, and he so will if the prophet, the, you are saying to me, if your prophet agree that he will bend over the guy, he can do him. He, uh, there's no problem. He will, he will never agree because the, you, this is your... Uh, how you know? How you know? Your prophet, he, your prophet obviously, he like, he like men. Isn't it, isn't it true that your prophet, he put uh, eyeliner three times a day? My friend, this is your assumption. I, I am not assumption. I can show the reference. Is it true? Is it true that you are a prophet? He kiss a man down his belly. My friend, we are talking about the heaven. We are talking about earth. If he is doing that in earth, you know the funny, the funny. Look at the Muslim text. I am playing for them. They are Muslim debating me, and he's a Moroccan guy, and they are saying he is lying. Do you believe it? I'm just playing. A recording of a previous callers who Muslims debated me and this guy from Morocco and this idiot Isa in the text he says he's lying the the Muslim guy is saying you can have sex with your mother and they are saying he's lying <laughs> oh boy <laughs> unbelievable unbelievable I mean Man, oh man, those Muslims they have one word to repeat lying, you're lying, you're lying. But this is a good sign, by the way. That's mean they are going crazy and they cannot believe what they just heard about their cult. It is not me speaking, it is your brother. Abdul, Abdul, yeah, Abdul, you cannot do that in heaven. So why your brothers are saying you can? No, you can. No, you can. In the heaven of Allah, you can do whatever you wish. And this is what they are trying to explain to you. And all of them, they agree that there is no sin in heaven. And we heard Muslims one after one. We have hundreds of Muslims calling me. The same as you do today, Isa. Later, we will play your voice too. How you say that only Jesus can be present in God? Muhammad, he cannot say the one who saw me, he saw God. The same will happen to you. Just wait, maybe tomorrow or the day after, we will play your recording. And then you will say, you will say that this guy is speaking on the mic, which is you, he's lying. Is that right? Two days from now, we will play Isa voice. He called me just 20 minutes ago saying that the only one can say that the one who saw me saw God is Jesus. Muhammad is not a qualified to say that. And then Isa in the text, he will say, the guy in the microphone is lying. But Isa, this is you. <laughs> oh, boy. <coughs> Do we have any Abdul? Anyway, this guy is not even Isa. I know who is he. He's just a kid. He called before many time. He's a joker. Any Muslim? Somebody saying Islam fooled 1.5 billion people. Is that a miracle, right? That is a true miracle. No, my friend. Uh, no, you know, uh, most of those people, they don't know what Islam, they don't speak the language. And, you know, they are victims. They are born of a society, of a community, of a family. And if you are born in a Muslim family, you will be one of them too. So, you know, the question is, uh, not about how big the number the question is how many of them really believe in islam 
and they knew what Islam is about give the Muslim freedom and then we will know really how many Muslims there are right now nobody can leave Islam in all Islamic countries uh, have you ever heard of a country have no atheist that's impossible right if we give a freedom to people in Iran today from the Islamic government I will not be surprised if it turned to be more than 60 percent of the country are atheists already or even more according to what I know most of the Iranian who come to the West or go abroad where they have a freedom even they go to uh, Asian countries you know I went I did I did uh, I did the speeches in many Asian countries like Philippines uh, Korea uh, Thailand etc and I found Persian wherever I go Persian who became a Christians they go abroad they are student there and right away there they are Christians they go back home they are Muslims which means they are Muslim by name and they are forced they cannot say we are Christians and they will not change you know because in the Middle Eastern countries or Islamic countries your religion is written in your let us say your profile or let us say your documentation not like in USA I mean nobody asks you what is your religion when you have your citizenship and there you you know your religion it not only your religion is even your sect so outside they are not Muslims when they go to Iran they are forced to be Muslims at least by name anyway <clears throat> did we have a good time guys uh, I don't want to let me debate you coward uh, yeah, uh, Kenny, I'm afraid of you. And let me block you. There we go. I want you to copy that and show everybody that I'm afraid of you. You potato, why you don't call me? Let me debate you, coward. <laughs> you are listening to me for the last two hours, and now you are asking me why you don't debate me. Who is holding you? <laughs> You know, in the Middle East, you will see two guys are like jumping, or like they want to fight each other. And there is a group of people they are pushing them away. Stop! Stop! Don't fight! Don't fight! And then, if you let them and the people leave, they will not fight. And this is exactly the Muslims. They shout too much. They make too much noise. And when you open the field for them for the fight, they disappear. The same what happened with Israel. Allahu Akbar, death to America, death to Israel. The video of ISIS, and by the way, today is the last day of ISIS. I feel sorry for them. Let us pray to Allah to help ISIS. ISIS, Allah, please supply ISIS with all the virgins. And Allah supply them with all, 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 all what they need for uh, vagina. Hey, Allah, please don't cut your uh, mercy from them and send them all the vagina they are looking for. They fought for you all those years and you get them no vagina? Today is the last day of ISIS. The last town is captured already by the Christian fighters and the Kurdish. Bingo. And I saw the videos, hundreds of the fighters of ISIS, they are surrendering like goats. Allah did not help them. And the funny they say to you that Allah will give us victory. Hmm. I can't tell. I search, search right now for the news. The last, the, the last, uh, uh, like uh, a village of in the hand of ISIS today is captured already, and hundreds of them surrender. Just search uh, uh, ISIS surrender and, and filter it for today news. You will see the videos. Any Abdul? Hmm. Anyway, uh, I want to go to the heaven of Allah. Just, 
I don't want to do have sex there. I want to just take a video camera, internet, and I will broadcast live broadcast of what Muslims are doing in heaven. What Muslims will do doing in heaven if we have a camera? And you, you speak to Zach and Naik, brother, you want to take a break? I cannot, brother, I cannot take. Allah, he promised me 70 years orgasm. 70 years orgasm. And we go, we take a sleep, we take a nap, we come back after 10 years. And we look at the door of Zach and Naik. Brother Zachary, are you there? I told you, 70 years orgasm. Come after 50 years. 70 years orgasm? Look at this donkey He's saying to me it's a lie. I mean, do you believe it? Those Abdul, they say to you, you're a liar. What, what doesn't matter what you say? <laughs> A brother, <clears throat> a brother, it is a lie, brother. A brother, this guy is lying to you, brother. You know, long, long time ago, I read an article written by Abdul. He was saying, if you ever speak to Christian Prince, don't ever say yes or no if he asks you. Even if he said to you, "Is the, well, the prophet was a good guy?" Don't say yes because after that he will hit you. Never say yes. Never say no. So how we can debate? This is the whole point. If you say yes, if you say no, whatever you say, he will get you busted. So the only way to survive is not to say anything. Abdul, is that in the front of us is a lie? The prophet swearing by Allah. I swear, I swear, by the fig and the falafel, I swear. Have you ever heard of a god who swear by fig? I mean, come on, go and buy some food, man. God, he swear by the fig. And he will let it go. I mean, he is hungry. Put yourself in his place. There is no one that Allah will admit to paradise but Allah will marry him to 72 wives two from the Huris two from the Huris only and 70 from his inheritance from people of hell hold on all of whom will have a desirable front passages oh boy Oh boy, I cannot resist the front passages, brother. Allah will import for us. He will open an incorporation import company to import women from hell. And why they are in hell? Because they are hookers. That's why he's saying they have desirable front passages, brother. Allah will take from hell and he sent to heaven employees and they are hookers. Big boobs, nice asses, beautiful. I mean, this is God talking. Isa, Isa, don't forget to say lie. This is a lie. Isa, say, 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 Isa. What, what is Isa? What happened to Isa? Why Isa is not saying this is a lie? Come on, Isa, say it, please. And not only that, the prophet he promised us. Oh, sorry, Allah, he promised us. The prophet here is just delivering the promise of Allah that in the heaven, brother, you will never have flat penis. I mean, brother, imagine. Now those women who have a very beautiful front messages, I don't know about their back messages. What's wrong with it? Are you saying their back messages is like baboon, monkey or something? Why only the front is good? I mean, what? Anyway, let it go. So imagine you have all those baboon females in the front of you, and now you want to do boom, boom. And suddenly your main member is like, Bzzz. hello. Bzzz. You play music for it. It's not a standing. 
you play the anthem for it is not a standing you speak to your penis says please brother please do something look the baboon are waiting for me a brother and then your your penis is not working so Allah he is very smart he think about everything so look what he promised us brother your male member brother will never becomes flaccid ie soft limp oh boy I was worried like should I take with me a lot of a Viagra should I buy a lot from now but Allah is all merciful is the biggest of Viagra a provider your Venus Asa are you there Asa are you going to say your prophet is a liar why you don't say that Why you don't say he's a liar? Be honest. Do you agree with your prophet or not? Isa, I'm really disappointed of you. What happened to Esau? Did God created this thing? This is not the question. Guys, did God created those things? <laughs> Your God created a penis will never go sleep. So, brother, you walk in the street and your penis is like, hello, hi, Hitler. <laughs> hi, Hitler. <laughs> hi, Hitler penis. I mean, this is amazing, brother. Your God, Allah, created those things. That's really, really, re I, 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 I'm going to convert to Islam. <laughs> <laughs> you Abdul are very funny, very cute, very cute. Oh boy, yeah, very cute. Mm. <laughs> mm, anyway, <coughs> I think we have enough for today, didn't we? Um, don't forget, please, to download this video and share it with your friends because it's going to stay only here for a few hours as usual. So immediately after we finish, give it some time until the video load. It take about 15 to 20 minutes maybe. And then you can download it and share it with your friends. Thank you for everybody for being here. May the Lord bless you. And we pray that the Muslims, they will see how stupid this cult is. A prophet of God, he will not say what we see in the screen. That is a promise of a pimp, perverted man. A man who speak about penises promising people such a penis and such such a woman he cannot be from God this is the devil the devil always he tried to tempt men by women and women by men and if he it is necessarily men by men or even men by children he will tempt you by money he will tempt you by anything that is the devil that is the God of temptation not the God of the Holy heaven the holy the kingdom of god that's not god cannot be from god you do not need to be a genius to know that this is no way we are talking about somebody speaking of god or he is coming from god this is a perverted man promising a bunch of a perverted men who they think about their balls and their penises and excuse my language i have to say it as it is more than they think about anything he knew that their brain is down there and he is speaking to their brain every person he speak of what who he is Muslim they say to me why you speak about sex well this is your prophet I am just if your prophet did not say that we will not be opening the topic don't blame me because your prophet is so low when we speak about Jesus, the standard is beyond holiness. When we speak about Prophet, his name is Muhammad, the standard is testicles and penises, as you say. And how in the world you can believe that such a man is God, Prophet? Have you refuted Muslim allegation? I don't know who is this guy. If you know don't give me names if they have the guts let them call me 
they have allegation nice to meet you allegation <laughs> I have my Skype open and everybody can call me and yet they talk about allegation the brother if you have allegation give me a call don't debate yourself talking to yourself and you will win the debate brother I want to hear your irrigation and irrigation system which is a flat which as a penis will not go flaccid allegation anyway there are a bunch of kids they do not know what they are talking about and we are here we stand against their highest scar actually you know for me to be honest with you I find it always maybe 100 times harder to debate a full Muslim who do not know what Islam is about from a scholar and actually you can watch my previous debates you will find that debating a sheikh is so easy compared to be debating a Muslim fool who do not know what Islam is about because when you speak with a fool you have to go from zero we are we are talking to a fool a fool he, he who he think he know like Isa here right now here we know we ask him a questions he refused to answer and he says that the word of Allah is created and that is very foolish there's no Muslim would dare to say such a thing unless he's a fool the same as the Moroccan guy who said to us Allah has a spirit which is very foolish because there's no Muslim will say such a thing unless he's a fool Muslims believe that Allah is not a spirit and he has no spirit so when you speak to a fool it's like you are talking to no one you know like he's a fool you know in the Middle East they say avoid two don't argue or fight with two a whore and a kid because all of the all of both of them they will humiliate you and we will give you an example what happened with David Wood and Mimi uh, Burka is a kid and he try his best to humiliate a man who is coming to debate respectfully they are fools but yet even when they humiliate they expose their God they thought they are making fun of David Wood but the fact they got themselves busted And this is why we believe that God don't leave himself without witnesses and the witnesses here in this case is the foolish Muslims who they witness to Jesus that he is God even when they try to fight him the same as we heard today from this guy who called me and he said that Jesus can say that the one who saw me he saw God but Muhammad cannot say that for Jesus, he can represent God, but Muhammad cannot. This fool, he just admitted that Jesus is God and Muhammad is no one. And we are very grateful for these fools. And I hope we will have more and more of them soon and today and tomorrow. Uh, don't forget guys just not to forget to mention to subscribe to my account in minds.com minds.com you can sign in with Google account or any account they have many way to sign in creating an account is very easy and uh, as you see my uh, my account is in the screen it's very simple uh, you know just log there <clears throat> and subscribe and always when we post a video and even sometimes videos we take them off of YouTube you can find them there minds that come they allowed you to have a video up I think to 15 or 20 minutes I'm not sure uh, but they are not like YouTube they will not take your videos down and they will not oppress you and they are people who believe in the freedom of speech so subscribe to this account if you don't mind 
tell your friends about it it's always too good to have a backup account in case something happened you never know we are fighting the devil and the devil will fight us it's a war and it's a journey it's long it's aggressive but yet we are victorious with this I say may the Lord bless you all and I will see you soon again Christ is Lord Islam is false and see you soon take care and bye bye